Everton have done it. We took it to the final day of the season against Bournemouth and Abdullah Decore, the man on the back of this shirt from last season, has done it with a absolute screamer of a goal in the 60th minute to keep us up. And uh, I don't know what to say, Jordan Pickford, oh my, I'll go for my player ratings in a second, but wow. From minute 1 to 90, I was always nervous, but I didn't think we were going to concede Bath a couple times, which is not something you can normally say about Everton. Normally it's, oh, we're conceding in two minutes, but we didn't. And that is something new for once, and I don't know how to... Ah, oh. okay, let's talk through the game quickly. We started off the way better side from minute 1 to like 45. We day born we limp born to about two chances. And throughout the entire game, we were on top. We were always going for chances. You know, Gray had to run really good chance, but he just headed it straight into uh, Travers, who, by the way, had a brilliant game to be fair to him. Mm -hmm. Just play bad, please. But um, Gray, he's, you can tell he's not a striker, but um, did what he needed him. Let's go for my player range, actually, quickly. Pickford, 8 out of 10. Everything we needed from him. He even got injured, but carried on. Made a really good save right at the end. Well, not really. The same should be making. But it's a save that kept us in the lead. <clears throat> Tarx, 9 out of 10. He made one mistake, which gets him not 10. Which he almost scored off it. But his partner in crime, Yerry Mina, keeps us in the lead. Overall, Tarx, everything we needed from him. Brilliant. Cody, 10. I mean, I've given Cody a 10. It was always in the way of it. Drawing fouls. Uh, he... He cleared the ball off the line at one point. I don't know if you have realised that. Howidi just... He's on loan. He's just kept it in the Premier League. Yerry Mina, 10 out of 10. Final ever game for the club. And what a service he has done for this club. Uh, love you, Yerry. King Yarold, as we call him. Uh, Dwight McNeil, 6 out of 10. Probably was one of our weaker players today. Uh, but it was probably expected. He's playing a left wing back when he's a left wing left mid. You, They're not meant to play left wing back. Uh, Jimmy Garner, 9 out of 10. Mm, he is so good. Forest United, thank you for him. Uh, Amadou Anana, probably his last ever game for the club. Put in a shift, 7 out of 10. Did what was needed of him. The only thing we probably asked for was getting in the box a bit more when we were crossing. Uh, Drissa Garner Gay, 11 out of 10. He's my man in the match, Drissa Gay. Everyone was brilliant, but I think he stood out to me. Always in the way of it. Brilliant passing. Took a clear pass. I, me and my brother call him Stat Padder. He was not stat padding today. He was on one today. <laughs> Alex Iwobi, 7 out of 10. Did what was needed of him. Ran all game. Demi Gray, probably 5 out of 10. Ran, but probably should have done better. He was looking too eager to score when there were other options. And then Abdullah Decore, 10 out of 10. Brilliant from him. And what a goal that was. Just to slice it on the volley from outside the box when you haven't scored outside the box for three years. That is not easy. Uh, Ellis Sims was our only sub, I think. Give him a 6 out of 10, didn't do much. Just chased the ball down. Got himself in the way. Sometimes. Sean Dyche. I'm going to go with a solid 9 out of 10. Got most things correct today. Didn't start Malpe, that's the main thing. Didn't bring on Malpe, that is the main thing. If we brought on Malpe, we were relegated. And I'm saying it now. We are in the Premier League, though, for another season. Leicester, Leeds, Southampton going down. Luton, Sheffield United and Burnley coming up for the 2023-2024 season. And it's going to be a good season, hopefully. Hopefully this time, though, we're not in the relegation battle. Hopefully we're mid-table, which is the dream, really, for where we are at the moment. And we're just playing on the beach like Bournemouth and other teams that Wolves Palace have been for the past couple of weeks. That is it, though. Everton are safe. They are not relegated. Make sure to hold on for the uh, Premier League Predictions Reaction video, as that will be coming soon. Uh, I've watched them back, my reaction, my uh, predictions, they're not too great, so get ready for that. Um, there's going to be some more Everton content on the channel, keeping you guys updated with what the club is happening in the club. And, as you know, there'll be more streams on the channel. I've got this week off, no... 
nothing going on. Don't have to worry about being in the championship next season. That's up to Leicester fans, Leeds and Southampton fans. By the way, Southampton 4-4, fair play. They went 4-2 up, Liverpool. <laughs> but yeah, up the toffees. We go again next season in the Premier League. And we make this a brilliant final full season at Goodison Park. I'll see you guys again in the next one. And goodbye and goodbye.